Uh, there's a wonderful guy on Twitter who's done, uh, in the style of Bob Dylan, <laughs> the Only Fools and Horses theme. Oh, uh, really? It's very funny. And it, because my eyesight's so bad, I was looking at it going, is that Bob Dylan? Really doing the Only Fools and Horses theme? Before I realised, of course, it wasn't. Uh, it's something some, to enjoy. Some though. people have had too much time on that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Honestly, lockdown projects, they've been amazing. <laughs> You know. And the man behind that, quite literally the man of many voices, joins us right now on TalkSport Extra Time. Delighted to introduce you to, what a star, Daryl McLean, and you find him on Twitter as Daryl McLockdown. Good morning, Mr McLockdown, and how the devil are you coping with uh, with uh, self-isolating and lockdown and all that stuff? Good morning, Paul. It's very strange. I mean, I, I was furloughed in March, so... After I was furloughed in March, I thought, what better thing to do than just record stupid videos and do silly songs online? Well, there's an awful lot of stuff out there on Twitter. And, and, you know, normally on a Friday, we kind of drop one or two things down that people have found that made us smile. I mean, your stuff made us laugh out loud. We've had a great response to it. Um, How did you come by this idea of getting people like Elton John or Elton John's voice, Billy Joel, Michael Jackson, to sing great British um, sitcom and cop show theme tunes? Where did that come from? Well, well, like anything, it's it's a small thing that kind of got out of hand. The Elton John sings Only Fools and Horses was just a silly thing I used to do with a friend at, just, at his housewarming party, my friend Ben. Right. He moved house about 15 years ago, with, you know, a few drinks, got the keyboard out, playing silly songs, and suddenly it's, you could do Only Fools and Horses as Elton John. So it, and that just became a bit of an in-joke between us. So when I thought I'd been furloughed, go back online, start a new social media account, I'll put that online so I can go, look, I'm here now, you know, everyone can find me. And it kind of went a bit crazy, and I thought, well, I've got to do another one now. And then it's, I think it was about 11 later. <laughs> Here we go. It's still going as well. But also, I mean, what's great is when you listen to them with your eyes shut, and we're going to play a couple in a bit, but when you listen with your eyes shut, it does sound as if you've, you've got them down pat. You've got Billy Joel, you've got Michael Jackson, incredibly difficult to do, and Elton John. Have you got to work at these, or do they come kind of naturally to you from listening to music down the years? When I was little, my dad used to do impressions. He used to quite often go on TV game shows, and as part of his opening spiel, he'd, he'd do a couple of impressions. And I realised then that it's quite a good way of getting people's attention without having to come up with any ideas yourself. <laughs> right, so it's not material, so, it's just the sound then, basically, you're going for. Yeah, so I, I, I've i always been quite been interested in learning impressions and stuff. So whenever I hear a song and I sing it back, I instinctively try and do the voice anyway. It's just a, it's, it's a bit of a sickness, really. <laughs> The more new skills you learn, the better things are, aren't they? Let's tell you, let's, let's, let's talk to Daryl now. Hello, Daryl. Hi, Alex. Now, I gather you have actually been sitting at your keyboard in your living room or whatever, being other people. Explain. Yes, well, I started off by doing a silly little video of Elton John singing the theme to Only Fools and Horses, just to kind of, for my friends, really, something I used to do a long time ago. And it kind of snowballed, and now it's become a strange kind of part-time job. And so, therefore, what you do is you get the star, which is you, in their voice, to sing yeah. a TV theme. Yeah, uh, ideally get the most famous person I can possibly do an impression of and get them to uh, do kind of, kind of a naff TV theme, ideally from like the 70s or the 80s, that they wouldn't obviously never be seen dead singing. And it works. Oh, it, it certainly does. Everyone on here has to sing for their supper, Daryl, so therefore we're going we're to have to get you to whiz through two or three of them for us. I've got a list here of some of the ones you've done, which are absolutely fantastic, actually. Would you do David Bowie singing Button Moon for us? Just a little bit of that. We're off to Button Moon. Follow Mr. Spoon, Button Moon. <laughs> How long does it take you to actually work out the voice and everything? Well, I've always, I've always done impressions. My dad used to do impressions when I was little, so I was just always copying him. He'd go on as a guest on TV game shows and he'd do impressions and he'd kind of get a big audience response. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll stop learning how to do that. <laughs> get attention from people. <laughs> How fantastic. Just looking along the list here, you see. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to start. I think the uh, Johnny Cash singing Al Vida saying Pet's got to be worth a line or two, hasn't it? Yeah. That's looming all right kind of thing. It's just fantastic. And, uh, oh, can you do Gary Barlow and Supergran? Stand back, Superman. Iceman, Spider-Man. Well, D Daryl, I hope come lockdown you're going to go on to tour the halls with this. Or can you only do it in the comfort and safety of your own living room? Well, I don't know. It depends. I mean, if I do, I, I can only play to 20 people at once, so I maybe should wait a year or two first before getting it started. I think, it, I think you'd be a sellout wherever you go. <laughs> Daryl, thank you so much, and thank you for all the pleasure you give us on Twitter. And uh, Twitter and Facebook, is it? How can we view you? 
Yes, I've got the, the videos on Twitter, so it's at Mac Lockdown, M A C Lockdown, and I've got a YouTube channel where I'm kind of trying to direct everything to it as well. It's just my name, Daryl D A W R E W L and McLean, like Shirley McLean, and all the videos are up there. A uh, big list you can you know pick pick what you want, and that, at the moment I'm putting up one a day, so there's there's new ones popping up all the time. Well, I just hope you never run out of artists. You better get on these. You've got work to do, Daryl. <laughs> Thanks so much indeed for sparing the time, and also for the, your other three alter egos who popped up this evening as well. Daryl, thank you. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> A musical chameleon that is Daryl. Absolutely fantastic. Pop along and see his YouTube channel and stuff like that. It's great, actually. It just make you smile. Brilliant stuff. I contacted you via Twitter. We'd delight to have you on the on the show this morning, Daryl. But and I immediately put in a couple of requests. And I know you've had loads of requests. What kind of things are people asking you to do? And are they asking you to try different voices as well, Daryl? Oh yeah, I've, I've had hun literally hundreds of requests, and obviously it, it would be a full time job. Uh, but I've tried trying to marry some of the most popular ones. A lot of people are asking for the Bee Gees, right? Which I think it's gone on my list. I would quite like to do a Bee Gees one. There's been quite a few people asking for Paul McCartney as well, because I've done John Lennon. Right. So, you know, it might be time for Paul to do um, a song soon. <laughs> I'm not sure which TV theme. There's a lot of people asking for Johnny Cash as well. I might have to... Uh, what, I love well. is, what I love is the incongruity of the voice and the theme tune. I mean, I was uh, I was a, a kind of wheedling to try and get you to do Elton John doing the Pink Panther theme. Not <laughs> that you know, here he is, the Pink Panther. But I'm thinking that Johnny Cash doing Pink Panther would be even better because it would just seem so big. It'll about when two worlds collide. Can you do a Johnny Cash then? Do you do, 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 do Johnny? Well, I, I certainly go as deep, so I could probably uh, get the guitar out, which I'm terrible at, but I, 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 I don't mind embarrassing myself for the sake of the internet. <laughs> and, the, and the Michael Jackson one is just superb. Um, are you ever tempted to bust a, a Jacko move or two, a bit of moonwalking? <laughs> it's envisioned, but thankfully you only see my upper half. <laughs> <laughs> and you've now got a YouTube channel, which is one of the reasons we're so keen to talk to you. Tell us a bit about that, Daryl. The reason I started that is that for long and complicated reasons, the Elton John Only Fools and Horses video got tucked down from Twitter um, because of a, a copyright claim. It didn't make any sense to me, but it's now intact on YouTube so it can be seen, so it's not uh, disappeared. So either John L. Sullivan's estate or Elton John's lawyers took exception to it, did they? What the heck was going well, on it's, there? It's, it's the latter of those. I've, I, 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 Only Fools and Horses headquarters were quite happy with it, yeah. so it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, t Team Elton that uh, didn't like the uh, impression, I don't think. And, and given, your, um, okay. given your ability to do the kind of Jacko falsetto, are you tempted to branch out into kind of female voices as well? A lot of people are asking for Kate Bush and I, or, or Freddie Mercury as well. And I keep thinking, if I could do the voices of Kate Bush or Freddie Mercury, I wouldn't be working uh, no, for the be, water board. No, you, you'd be in <laughs> Vegas, wouldn't you? That's the thing about and, and are there people you'd like to do or have attempted in the past and simply can't nail? You can't get a handle on the voice? There's a couple I've had to relearn for this one. Someone asked for Randy Newman, who I did used to do before and had to relearn it from scratch. And I forgot how exhausting it is to learn a new voice. Right. Because I'm running out of impressions I can do, I might have to start doing that anyway soon. Um, I've got nothing better to do at the moment. <laughs> Let's start by hearing from a man who's combined two things that many of us have turned to during lockdown, music and telly. Daryl McLean lives in Merseyside and has been reimagining theme tunes in the style of famous singers. I love the idea of this. Uh, Daryl, hello. Hello there. Uh, That's Oni. Uh, how's all the, how, how did you come up with the idea? Well, it was something I did a very long time ago at someone's housewarming party that became this big in-joke that spiralled, and then I just put it online to say I'm, I'm back on social media because I'm bored during the lockdown and kind of went a bit crazy, really. So let's get this right, and I, I've not heard any of the clips, and I know there's some clips coming up. So you take a TV theme tune with words in it, so you stick to the tune, yeah. you stick to the words, but you'll do it in the, I don't know, Shirley Bassey, whoever. Is that is that the idea? As much as possible. If you kind of work out a way of getting them to lock together, and it's quite satisfying. Right, so we've got we've got three clips here, and I think the idea is myself and Anna might try and guess what they are. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So uh, here is clip number one. <laughs> so you know what. I suddenly know exactly who Daryl is because a couple of weeks ago, my husband made me listen to this. Really? Yes, he did. He said, listen, listen, this is brilliant. And he played me the whole thing. Hang on, I haven't got the theme tune yet. Oh, I've got, I've got it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, so Daryl, you're famous in the Foster household for a start uh, off. I apologise for invading your life. No, no, darling, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's really good. I'm, it's lovely to, to virtually meet you. How nice. So that was um, at, at, that, that, that. Anna, do you want to go? I mean, that was at Elton John singing Only Fools and Horses. It was. It was. Yeah. Brilliant. So that one I On know. On a harpsichord, by the sound of it. Right, let's have number two. Life is the name of the game. And I want to play the game. I've got the theme tune and I think I've got the singer. Oh, I'm struggling with the singer, but I feel like I should know it. Well, I'm, I'm going to go. Theme tune. Yeah, the theme tune. Generation it Game. It is Generation Game. Oh. Uh, I'm going, I don't, I don't know, I'm going John Lennon. It is John Lennon, it's John. Oh, very good. Right. After getting Judy Dench's grandson, I'm on a roll on this <laughs> Shame there's no prizes. I oh, we've love got the another. generation game, yeah. Let's let's do let's do round three. Okay. If your mansion house needs oh. <laughs> just call <laughs> rants a ghost. Oh, we've oh, got oh, spooks oh, and ghouls oh, and oh, freaks oh, and fools oh, at oh, rants a ghost. Oh, Hear the oh, phantom oh, of the oh, opera. This is brilliant. Oh, Sing a haunting melody Remember what you see is not a mystery But a rancid ghost Daryl, is this all you? Or have you that wrote the family in for that one? No, that's all me burning wow. my, in my bedroom <laughs> nice. The hours must fly by all those Oh, yeah that, that it. Well, I'm confident i got both there Anna, have you got both? Um, yes, I have Okay, it is Rent a Ghost it is. Classic programme, Mr. Claypole, etc. With the House Martins. Yes. <laughs> uh, all four of them, by the sounds of it. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, well, have you got a whole library of these stars, Darrow? Is that it? Have you shot your bolt with those three? I've done about a dozen so far. Um, the, I might do some more. There's, a, there's still a few brewing. Yeah. But there's a few more. There's a, there's a Randy Newman and a James Taylor. And uh, what else have I done? There's a Lou Reed one, Michael Jackson one. What's Michael Jackson singing out of interest? Can you remember? Michael, J Michael Jackson is singing Dad's Army. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, I'd say so that's, the, that's might, a treat for you. I don't know. I, this is unscripted this hour, but I'd love to get that on before the end of the programme. Michael Jackson singing Dad's Army. Uh, well, our people will speak to your people, Daryl, <laughs> and we'll see if we can sort that by the end of the programme. I'll get on the phone to my agent. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, come on. laughs> Cheers, Daryl. Not a problem. Thank you. Bye bye. Good news. Go on. We have managed to secure. Oh, brilliant. Here it is. You do your thing. You are kidding, Mr. Hitler. And you think of the English There's a big note. Get that keyboard. <laughs> wow. I think in six years of drive, that's my favourite bit ever. Is it really? Yeah. I want him live on my last day whenever that might happen. Uh, right. Uh, I'll make a note. I'm kind of running out of the UK in the 70s yeah. at the moment. Because it's strange, you go through a list of TV programmes in your head and you go, oh, uh, uh, good life, oh, good life's not got words. No. Um, oh, and that's not got words. And that's not got words. And then you realise there's nothing left. Um, a lot of people keep asking for Big Break at the moment, so I might have to do Big Break at some point. And what was the Big Break one? Snooker it, Loopy? It, it, no, it was, um, the, it, it's only a game, so that one. Oh, right, okay. Okay, down memory lane then. Okay, we're going to end with a burst oh, yeah. of some of your finds. What's been your favourite one so far? We might end with a bit of that as well. What are your favourites that you've done? Strangely, the one I was happiest with was Billy Joel, the Billy Joel Sings Bread, because so many people asked for the bread theme and I couldn't get it to work with anyone. <laughs> and someone asked for Billy Joel, who I've never done an impression of, and I thought, I'll just re-listen to Billy Joel. I thought, Billy Joel isn't an impression because he, he has no recognisable twang to his voice or anything like that. So I really had to work hard on that. And I was really happy with the way that, that came out. Well, that, that really pleased me and producer Sam because um, we are both huge Billy Joel fans. I mean, he's never been hugely kind of cred in this country, but a great voice, a great, I'm hugely successful songwriter and, and singer. And that was an absolute bell. So we'll end with a bit of that and some of the others, some of Daryl McLean's greatest hits. Maybe not that popular in the Elton John household, but they ought to be. <laughs> and once again, where can we, we you're on Twitter as at McLockdown, aren't you, Daryl? Yeah, so it's uh, at MAC Lockdown. Easy to find. Okay, and then Daryl McLean on the uh, on the YouTube for your own channel. On YouTube. 
Brilliant yeah. stuff. You made a top guest. I really appreciate your time this morning. Keep on keeping on and keep up the good work. You put a smile on all our faces. And here is a burst of Daryl's greatest hits. And I promised you a musical experience that you won't forget. So, I wanted to share this with you. And if you've listened to me doing 10 to 1, I played one of these a few weeks ago. In lockdown, I have become slightly obsessed with a man on Twitter. I've never met him. I've never spoken to him. I've just admired him from afar. And I looked at him yesterday. And he's only got like 6,000 Twitter followers. Now, there'll be people listening to this going, well, it's better than my six. That's very true. But in the grand scheme of things, 6,000 Twitter followers, he deserves so much more. He's called Daryl McLean. And his Twitter handle is at MacLockdown. So go and give him a follow. Be the best thing you do today. Go give him a follow. At MacLockdown. Daryl McLean. And this is the guy who, just from the comfort of his own home, does musical impressions. So he gets artists and bands and he does an impression of them singing TV theme songs and they are absolutely wonderful. They are bang on. They are absolutely bang on. So this is the one that I played on my show a couple of weeks ago. I just played you, Paul. This is Daryl McLean from Twitter doing an impression of Pulp and Jarvis Cocker singing the Danger Mouse theme tune. Oh, he's the greatest. He's fantastic. Whenever there is danger, he'll be there. Oh, he's the best. So, so good. So that was the first one that I spotted. So once I'd seen that one, I was going through all the other ones he's done. I mean, he's done the Bee Gees singing Minder. If you want to help change the situation. Wonderful, right? He must genuinely be a brilliant musician when you watch these clips. He also might be having a breakdown in lockdown. This might be what a breakdown looks like, but if it is what a breakdown looks like, I can't wait for my breakdown because I think this is absolutely marvellous. I have found something on Twitter tonight, which will keep you uh, amused for ages. It's a guy called Daryl who sings TV themes impersonating pop stars. And it's the funniest thing I have come across in a long time. I've put um, a recent video of his where, where he was impersonating the Bee Gees singing the theme to Minder. Uh, also on his YouTube channels, there's Billy Joel singing the theme to Bread, the House Martin singing Rent a Ghost. <laughs> Gary Barlow singing Super Grand. He's just impersonating them doing TV themes. It's the funniest thing. If you are on Twitter and you want to see, honestly, you will smile. The guy is a legend. I've been talking about Daryl McLean on Twitter. M says, brilliant at Mac Lockdown. Asher says, just discovering at Mac Lockdown. Thanks to Toby Talent Radio X. So clever. Very, very talented. I love this because already I'm looking now. He's gone up a few hundred followers since I just mentioned him. I assume, like I said, I've never met this bloke. Never met this bloke. I assume he's in bed right now. It would be lovely if he woke up this morning to a load of tweets and a load of new followers because he's got 7,051 at the minute. He deserves so much more than that. So if you just tuned in, he does musical impressions. He does bands and artists singing theme tunes from songs. So this is Elton John doing Only Fools and Horses. I was just saying to producer Vin off air, I said, he genuinely sings this beautifully, beautifully. I can only assume this Darren McLean bloke has a wonderful singing voice genuinely because he does that so, so well. Do you want a couple more? Go on then. There's a couple of notes in this which is so spot on. A couple of notes in this are perfect. So this is Gary Barlow singing Super Grand. Now I don't know the Super Grand feature and I'm going to level with you. But I know what Gary Barlow sounds like and he sounds like this. She makes them look like a bunch of Look out, the 
wonderfully good. Gary Barlow doing super grand. Uh, give him a follow. He's gone up another 100 since I last checked. Daryl McLean at Mac Lockdown. He deserves so many more followers than this. And also, you're only hearing these, but when you watch them, because he's got the Gary Barlow eyebrow raise. He's got it absolutely nailed on. Uh, now, this, this is producer Vin's favourite. This is David Bowie doing Button Moon. And Vin is obsessed with this and is pretty certain that he sounds almost better than David Bowie doing this. Welcome to Button Moon. Follow Mr. Spoon. Button Moon. Button Moon. Wonderfully, wonderfully good. Daryl McLean. I'm seeing it now. Loads of people have tweeted him. He's got a YouTube page. He's done... Those are just five I've played you. He's got loads and loads and loads. He's done everyone. He's done Johnny Cash. He's done everyone. Twitter, at Mac Lockdown. He's probably fast asleep right now. He's got no idea what's going on. Hannah says, Tobes, I missed the first part of the link and thought you said it was actually Elton John who had done a cover of Only Fools and Horses and I genuinely thought nothing of it. It sounds great. Elton's missing a trick. It's wonderful. Um, loads of people tweeting him saying they're following him. Corey tweeting me saying, Toby, how do I spell this guy's Twitter? I must be there for dumb. I can't find him. Uh, at, Corey, just for you and for the slower people in the group, at Mac Lockdown, all one word, M-A-C Lockdown, all one word. Go follow him on Twitter, but his Twitter followers are flying up. He deserves so many more. He's wonderful. Uh, whilst, by the way, that song was playing, I suddenly turned to Vin and went, I just realised I'm not following him. I've been, I've, <laughs> I've been banging on about him all morning. I just realised I've watched all his stuff on YouTube. I've never actually followed him on Twitter. He is wonderful. I'm following him now and he's probably asleep and he's going to wake up to loads of new followers, which is great. Oh, now, the bar's uh, been set high. We talked about the extra mile a moment ago. We do like to keep in touch with some of the Drive family. One of our favourite extra miles is celebrating reaching a million views across Twitter and YouTube. Just to tee him up, he sprang to fame by doing Elton John singing the theme tune to Only Fools and Horses. My particular favourite was when he did Michael Jackson singing the theme to Dad's Army. More on that in a second. Uh, but to celebrate all these hits, he's now mashed up Elvis Costello singing to the, the theme tune to Maid Marian. Marion. That is one of the many voices of Daryl McLean, who joins now. Hello, Daryl. Hello, Tony. Uh, great to speak to you again. I love your stuff. Uh, uh, Elton John singing Only Fools and Horses. I was just looking on here. I was, I was looking on Google, and Boise liked it uh, from Only Fools yes. and Horses. <laughs> I've had a few uh, people. When I did the House Martins, uh, of Paul Heaton, uh, Jackie yeah. Abbott oh, liked great. it. And I did basically say, well, you'd make sure he doesn't beat me up. Uh, well, look, what, how did it all come about? Uh, but I'm, I'm very conscious, Daryl, that I want to get in Michael Jackson singing Dad's Army before we go. <laughs> so if that's why I'm rushing the question. But look, why do you think people have loved it so much? I think it's an escape. People are enjoying it because it's an escape, really. It's, it was a little in-joke that kind of, it snowballed and snowballed. And every time I kind of give it a break or stop it, people just seem to want to carry on. So it's obviously giving people a bit of pleasure and a bit of escape from you know we live in an insane world at the moment so it's a bit of a normality strange normality but it's it's a, it's a little comfort blanket of daftness really yeah a, a million views across uh, social media is not to be sniffed at how do you how do you mash up the two do you have a bowl a goldfish bowl with names of singers in and, and programs and just pick one out how do you work it out a little bit it's actually quite difficult because I, I, for example it took me ages to find something for paul mccartney to do and i eventually gave him are you being served just ground floor leather goods. So, <laughs> but you can sit there at the piano and you know you've roughly got a voice you can do and you can go through 20 songs and they all they don't work and then with one's kind of jealousy, like, brilliant, I'll do that, and it just goes through really fast. So it's just trial and error. There's so much work people don't see because they're only about 30 seconds long. Uh, Daryl, marvellous stuff, <laughs> R brilliant. Makes me laugh every time I hear it. We haven't got time to put to squeeze Elton John in singing Only Fools and Horses. I might, <laughs> okay. I might try and find room for that tomorrow. Listen, <laughs> get more power to you, Elbow. Keep going and here's to 2 million views. Thanks very much, Tony. Cheers, Daryl. Thank you. Darren McLean there popped up on uh, uh, the extra mile. I love that. <laughs>